Hello, everyone, and welcome to Salt Shaker Studios. My name is the Dangerous Miss, and I will be your host for this Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. Now, I know we finished off Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke on a wonderful note of... God, oh, that was great. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys do go check out that Let's Play. Uh, it will probably be linked at the end card of this video to promote other two playlists because I haven't... You know, first episode, can't really have a playlist if... None of that stuff really exists yet because it's episode number one. But, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys do go check out our Twitter link down below as well as our Discord and Instagram if you do want to get social with us. But, it's time to move on to new projects as I'm working on something else already. I figured since I've got Pokemon Fire Red done, Mega Man Battle Network is still underway and then Digimon Cyber Sooth Hackers memory still needs to be done. I figured as much I should probably work on... The next projects while well, i'm done one and all the videos go up so hey breaking the fourth wall but without further ado let's get into this wonderful world of pokemon hi sorry to keep you waiting welcome to the world of pokemon my name is i forgot to put the text beat on faster but everyone calls me the slowest text in all the land this is what we call a pokemon that's a trico i want a trico this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as pokemon we live alongside Pokemon, at times friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together in battle. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, we must be undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Well. Haha. <laughs> so, I'm a broski. My name? Well, my name is just straight up Michael. I never really had creative names. Michael, hi. Stop. <laughs> ah, okay. You're Michael, who's moving into my hometown of Little Root Town. I get it now. I'm glad that took you that long to get it. That's concerning. All right, are you ready? <laughs> Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. We'll be expecting you later. Meet me in my Pokemon lab. So, I know that me reading to- Okay, green screen. We're gonna talk about this. What is this? What is this? Stop this. Struggle of using bootleg-ass lighting. I can fix it. I sort of fixed it. Okay. So if you guys are wondering why there might have been a little bit delay of me reading the text and like a little bit of an offset, I have a new recording set up and there's a delay when it comes. I don't have the Elgato like capture guard that goes in a PC. I just have the regular one. So there's going to be like a four millisecond delay sometimes. But sometimes I'll either react or read ahead uh, of the text that's popping up. I am sorry. I know it is noticeable, but hopefully it's not too bad i need to work on getting all the other off syncs put on together because it's struggle man not delivery it's it's the struggle so i believe we have to go set up our clock upstairs i don't know i'm voice acting mom right now because i'm kind of talking off the side but i figured that let's do another pokemon let's play i had a lot of fun doing fire red and i also figured that instead of 
me trying to beat myself up and defeat not defeating but more or less taking the time to think of other let's plays for me to do instead of me just having fun and enjoying it i feel like i wouldn't be putting out the best product i could on Soul. that's kind of that's always been my main goal is just to have fun in a channel so I'm just going to kind of produce stuff. I don't really care what anyone else is waiting for. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think anyone's ever going to upload this channel but me. But I know i said this story multiple times. But to all the people that are new here on Salt Shaker Studios. Here's the funny story about this channel. Um, this was initially supposed to be a group effort channel. Where me and a bunch of buddies were supposed to do Let's Plays and other things too. And it turned out that no one else really showed up but me. To do anything. So... Yeah, I'm just kind of here. So at this point, like people are like, oh, well, I'm going to do this and this. And then they say they're going to do that. And at this point, I'm like, unless you actually do it, I'm not really going to wait around. I'm just going to do my own thing uh, and just kind of take this now as like a solo initiative until someone actually shows up and helps out. Other than that, all that beautiful negativity aside, I believe we have to go. First, we have to go to the lab, see if the professor's there. Then we go up. And we see what that little goyle is talking about. Put on some field work. Alright, perfect. Put on some field work. So, this is a randomized Nuzlocke uh, Pokemon plate. So, if you guys don't know what a Nuzlocke is, the rules will always be listed down below in the description. But what it means is that every time I have the option to catch a Pokemon in the first area I encounter, I, I have to catch it. I just need... Oh, right, I have to go to our neighbor's house. Durr, how'd I forget that? So, every time I enter a new area of grass, where that little sign changes to a new place listed, I can catch a Pokemon, my first encounter. Now, there's something called Species Claws and Dupes Claws, and the occasional Pinwheel Forest Claws, but I don't think that really counts on this game. Maybe? Okay, so what... Let me go in order. So, Species Claws is when, say, I catch a... Uh, say I catch a Pidgey. So if I run into a Pidgeot later, I don't have to catch it because I already have a Pidgey capture. That's Species Claws. Um, Dupes Claws is if I just run into another Pidgey or Pidgeotto or Pidgeot. Uh, and then the Pinwheel Forest Claws is when there's an area that's so big, like the Pinwheel Forest in Pokemon Black and White. Or I don't, I never actually played fifth gen to be honest. Yeah, I might do that. Play Wink Wink, not much. Um... That there, uh, like, it's such a big area that on the other end, you can catch another Pokemon because it's just like, holy crap, that was huge. Uh, not kind of not like Viridian Forest where it's actually manageable. Uh, it's it's a really big area, so you're you kind of just like, all right, forget about it. I I needs to I needs to catch a Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, and then you have to nickname all of your Pokemon. Uh, and then once Pokemon faints, they can't be used anymore. So and then there's something called static encounters to where. In this case here where we're gifted a starter pokemon or if we're just kind of ever gifted a pokemon like normally you'd be given an eevee at some odd point you're able to trade in or you're just able to get that pokemon no matter where else so everything's random here the first up we have the mushroom pokemon parasect in arena and slugma well Okay, these are all pretty garbage Pokemon. I'm trying to think of early game. Late game. Uh, it's so randomized, it really doesn't matter what I pick, right? But I need a Moonstone to evolve a Nidorino. So that's already kind of dictating me out of getting it because I'll never know because all the items too should be randomized. At least I clicked that option. So I don't know when I'll get a Moonstone. Fire and Rock type is pretty bad typing. A lot of weaknesses. A lot of weaknesses. Fire is also very good coverage for the first forest area. But once again, I don't know what typings I'll be running into. Problem. Fire and Rock is a very good typing to have too, though, for offensive-wise. But defensive-wise, still not a good typing. 
Parasect is grass bug, but I don't know if it learns any good moves. Kind of a meh Pokemon. It's already evolved. It'll probably have Stunspore and Sleep Powder. Which that will help me catch Pokemon. I think I'm going with Parasect for that logical reason. Alright, well, I believe that Zigzagoon is static anyways. Ooh, we have Stun Spore and Poison Powder. Perfect. This will definitely allow us to capture lots and lots of Pokemon. I also just realized that May is going to have the Slugma, probably. Shit. Now, the good thing is, though, is that even though May does get the Slugma... I, it probably knows Ember, but that also means that Parasect, uh, I think I'm going to name her Snippy. There we go. We have Snippy. So I know that we don't get the Pokeballs before the battle with May. So... I should be okay. Crap. Sort of. Yep. Snippy the Parasect. What typing are you? You're bug gra You're jolly. Okay. Bug's physical. Grass isn't. That's not bad. I think Parasect's designed to be physical anyway. So let me just check make sure. Wow. So this does not count as our first encounter because we do not have Pokeballs yet. But in case anyone was wondering, we can catch an Electabuzz on the first route. That's not good necessarily because catch rates. I think you give me a potion, don't you? Okay. That's not bad to train on. If I ever do get like a... Well, good thing it doesn't count. <laughs> There's rock throw, which isn't good. Dugong's here. Wow, this is a rough start. Wow. I don't have Pokeballs, right? Okay, good. I was gonna scream. It literally has Icy Wind and Aurora Beat. How am I supposed to compete with that? God, Parasect. Well, I mean, I'm also still glad I didn't choose Slug. There's Ivysaurus here! That's not bad. Imagine if we catch an Ivysaur. Nice little Venusaur. I mean, we have a terrible flying and fire weakness. Oh, jeez. be awful, but still... Come on. Job snip. Yeah. I'm just trying to gain a little bit of levels right now just so that that Slugma does have Ember. I can compete. Alright. Happens. Let's see. The Pokemon found on Route 103 include. Oh my god, everything's randomized. What's happening? Oh! Hi, Michael. I see my dad. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, I see my dad. <laughs> I gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer's like. I swear to God, I'm a stomp on your face. Rich kid Veronica has a... <laughs> All right, so apparently she actually doesn't get one of those stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no no <way>. no no <laughs>
also cool. <laughs> I love the fact that it just has wing attack. Oh, there's espions on this route. That's kind of cool. Chinch. There's a lot of. Why there's so many Pokemon on this route? That's hilarious. Oh, the fact that it has wing attack is probably the priceless. The most priceless event that could. Oh. Oh, I absolutely love it. I literally have to level up to level 10 because I'm quad weaked. You know what the worst part is, too? If I pick the Slugma, she probably has water. <laughs> start oh oh god <laughs> there's just nothing I can do <laughs> ah he fell asleep because of a game is revolutionary oh imagine starting off a pokemon game with some of the worst possible pokemon to use and then your first encounter is a polymer with a wing attack oh crap no Okay, so now the Nuzlocke has officially started. <laughs> we have a level, a level 10 Parasect. Oh. oh, give me those running shoes, girl. All right, let's go catch us a Pokemon, boys. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Did it really just give me shrooming? I, t I don't need a shroomish. All right, that's our first encounter. There's Machokes here. <laughs> There's Muxy. <here. laughs> uh, all right, first encounter. Ooh, Ivysaur. That that's probably gonna. I don't think it's gonna take a scratch. Oh, it did. Perfect. I have five Pokeballs to catch a starter, though. I'm probably not gonna catch it. <laughs> I got it! <laughs> oh, There's no way! There's no way this Nuzlocke is starting out like this! Okay, so now we have Ivy. <laughs> There's a primate here, saw it in! Alright, we now have Ivy the Ivasaurus. I I Please! <laughs> ah, we're gonna lose! Alright, Route 102. I have so many grass types. Oh no. Excuse me. I had to sniz. Can I catch the lombre? <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm gonna call you, call you, Z. I have, I have three, <laughs> my whole team gets destroyed by a Pelipper, I cannot fathom what is happening in my video game right now, alright, oh look, a need. It has pack! No!
Oh my god, it had Peck. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally got destroyed by Peck. <laughs> That's Peck. I hate this game. Oh, could have caught a lantern. Good training. Very good training. Level 6 and 7. Nice. Very nice. I mean, we have an Ivysaur. I can't complain about that. We're gonna get a Venusaur. That's... That's power. There's Jirachi on this <laughs> I just love the fact that there's just Jirachi on this one. Right, I can't poison a Steel-type. Gonna run. Sounds great. I, I, I can train on this route and gain bare levels. That's a complete fact. I do want to make it to Petalburg though. I know not Petalburg or the next. Is it? And not just. Say. Okay. So, we, we're off to an interesting start. Normally, these Let's Plays on the channel go for about 20 minutes, but the first episode will probably always go longer because intros and outros and like that. Well, not intros, but like, call it putting in starting point for bicycle. Oh, cool. Oh, oh Jesus. I need to train Lombre so he can learn water gun. Like yesterday. I accidentally hit. That wasn't bad. Hey, and we. <laughs> Give me Deoxys. Who, who let you have a Deoxys? Yak yak here. I don't feel like that was randomized. There's our dad. I don't talk to dad. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. This this game has been blown. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do okay. I'm gonna have to do a grinding montage because I have I have no other choice. I have nothing but grass types. Very, very weak, susceptible grass types. I need water gun on Susie. I need to catch more Pokemon. I'll see you, sexy beast, in the next episode. Bye.